Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 6.5 from Sadiku book. So the question is, under DC conditions, find the energy stored in the capacitor in this figure. So we will have this figure here and we have here the conditions. So under DC conditions, So what that's mean is capacitor is equal to open circuit. So let's redraw this circuit in DC condition. Okay, let me copy the circuit and paste this. Okay, so we'll have this one under DC conditions. So in DC condition, we can replace this capacitor here by open circuit. And this capacitor here is also by open circuit. So we will have this, this 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 okay let's name this node as node a and this node here as node b and so this one will be va and this one will be vab okay and let's just use the bottom of the circuit as our Okay, that will make things easier. Okay, now let's calculate here. So we now have a, an, not a, a voltage source here with 50 volt. And then we have three resistor here with one, three, and six kilo ohm value. So let's draw a current that will pass through here, then goes here, goes here, and finally comes back to that and let's name this blue current as i so i according to ohm's law is a voltage divided by the resistance so the voltage is 50 it's clear and then the resistance we will have one kilo ohm because it in series we can just add them up plus three and then plus Six. So I will have 50 divided by this one is 10. And we will have 5. And the unit. About the unit. This 50 is volt and this 10 is kilo ohm. So volt divided by kilo ohm is milli ampere. So we have this current here is 5 milli ampere. So now we can calculate. VA, VAB, and VB. So the easiest first, uh, I think we can start from this VA here. So if we look the current that goes through this resistance here, I will have 50 minus this one, VA divided by 1 kilo ohm is equal to 5 milliampere and then this one will be 50 minus VA is equal to 5 and so we will have VA is equal to 50 minus 5 which is VA is equal to 45 volt so let's save this let's save this this is important value and then now we can calculate VB so here if we take a look at this 6 kilo ohm resistor we will have VB minus the voltage in the ground will be zero 
then divide it by 6 and that will also equal to 5 milliampere and that will make this VB minus 0 is equal to 5 multiplied by 6 and so we will have VB will be 5 multiplied by 6 is 30 Okay, we have VA and VB, and now we need to calculate VAB. So we'll have VAB is equal to VA minus VB. So we'll have 45 minus 30. So we'll have VAB, and that value of VAB is, what is it? Okay, so there will be my face. VAB is 15 volt. Okay, now we have VA is 45 volt. And here we have 45 volt. And that means that we have here is 45 in under DC conditions and VAB is 15 volt VAB is 15 volt so the voltage here plus minus is 15 volt under DC conditions okay now we need to find the energy stored in each capacitor okay remember that the energy that stored in capacitor is one half multiplied by the capacitance multiplied by the voltage squared okay now what can we do here so let's see energy stored in I want to find this one first in 20 microfarad capacitor so the voltage here is 45 volt so let's just plug that into our formula 1 half C V squared and that will be 1 half multiplied by the C C will be 20 and then 45 volt multiplied by 45 and that will be squared and remember that this 20 this 20 is in microfarad so we need to multiply it by 10 by minus 6 Okay, now we'll have 10 multiplied by 45 squared will be, this is 2025. Okay, multiplied by 10 to the minus 6. So I will have this one multiplied by and to the minus 6 and the unit of this is joule so okay let's see this one will be um, they want the result in millijoule so that's that is six we need to multiply it by 10 to the minus 3 if we want to make it millijoule and then oh I mean to the 3 yeah so I will have 20 to 50 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 millijoule 
or we can rewrite this as 20.25 mini joule okay this is for the energy stored in 20 microfarad capacitor so let's do the same process here so we need to repeat that what is the value 30 30 microfarad and let's just plug the formula okay we need to one half multiplied by 30 and remember 30 is in microfarad so we need to multiply it by 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by this one 15 so we'll have 15 squared and this one will be 15 okay and that one will be 10 to the minus 6 and 15 squared is 2 to 5 and then I need calculator to solve that okay we'll have 33 this one this number multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 and the unit is joule and they want the answer in milli joule so I just need to multiply this by a thousand so we'll have okay three three seven five multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 milli joule or that will be 3.375 mini joule so we have this and this one so i think that's the answer of this question let's see if we find the same answer as the book so we'll have yeah this one 20.25 it is the energy stored in this capacitor and 3.3 375 it's the energy stored in this capacitor so we have solved the problem and hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation let me know if i did in the comments and do not forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and bye bye